Hi guys, Carl from Team Shift here. Today we have a few combos for August when we get Scrap Wyvern in the upcoming Chaos Impact Special Edition on the 5th of December. Um, so what this does is allows the deck to be way more explosive, both going first and second, uh, with the use of cards such as Scrap Golem and Mech Phantom Beast O-Lion. means that going first you can end on Appaloosa and IP, and going second you can get up to a plus 5 with the card. So the first combo I'm going to be showing today is the end board that happens when you don't get interrupted. Uh, you get to end on Appaloosa, IP and a bunch of things in Grave as well. Uh, so for this you'll need Scrap Recycler, it has to be this one, it can't be Math Man or Armor Knight or anything like that. Uh, any extender can be whatever you want and any card to pop, it needs to be a card that you control. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Scrap Recycler. With this you're going to send O-Lion. O-Lion when it's sent you get to special summon a token. Now, before you do anything else, you're going to need that card that you want to pop. And then we're going to link these away for the new card, Scrap Wyvern. So what this does is on summon, you get to summon a scrap monster from your graveyard, and then you have to destroy a card you control. If a scrap monster you control is destroyed, you get to summon a scrap monster from your deck, and then destroy a card on the field. So you see why you need to pop the card in a second. So with this, Scrap Wyvern is going to summon itself and Scrap Recycler, and it's going to destroy the Scrap Recycler itself. Uh, you don't get the effect of this because it's a when effect, so it means it'll miss timing because the destruction from the Scrap Wyvern is still resolving. But this does then trigger the second effect, which allows you to summon Scrap Golem from your deck. And then you need to destroy a card on the field. This is mandatory, so you will need to destroy the other card that you have. Now, with Scrap Golem on the field, you get to summon out the Scrap Recycler from your grave. Now he can trigger his effect, so you're going to send the Heart Horror. From here, you're going to link the four material away for the Appaloosa. We're going to now banish our Harp Horror. Just going to summon our nightmare from the deck, and then after this, we're going to use our extender to just summon any old monster. With these two monsters, we're going to link into Galatea, and all of this now should be pretty familiar for all the Orcus players out there. Um, after this, we're going to use nightmare, target probably Appaloosa, give it an extra negate for this turn, why not? Um, with that, we're going to send our world wand. The world wand's then going to be used to summon either of these, doesn't really make any difference what it is. From here, we're going to use Galatea to put this back to get our Babylon line. After that, we're going to make our Dingirsu to re uh, reattach that, and then put these two non link monsters into our IP. That then leaves us for the following turn with Nightmare to send a symbol to bring back your Ding, and you get another interruption there. Uh, the Harp Horror as well, and obviously, if you bring back the Ding, send, and then you're going to have two material to be able to make your unicorn there. So this is the final combo, and this is for when you're made to go second. Um, you can get through quite a lot of either big monsters or big back row boards, uh, especially if you use something like Reboot so they can't chain those. Um, it does end up in a plus five, so that's pretty good when you go in second through uh, just Scrap Recycler and any discard. So for this, you're gonna start off with your Scrap Recycler, once again sending the O-Lion to get a token. With this, and it's going to be very similar to the other one, we're going to link summon for our Scrap Wyvern. Wyvern's going to do the same thing again, pop this, summon the Golem. Now obviously this is a mandatory pop, but it doesn't need to target, so you can just get rid of one of the back rows, or any other card. Um, Golem then going to re-summon out the Scrap Recycler, he's going to send the Harp Horror there. Now with these two, you're going to link off into a Phoenix. Phoenix is going to discard, draw one, and get rid of another card, um, because it's obviously co-linked. From there, we're going to use our Heart Horror in the Grave. Banish that to summon our Nightmare from deck. With these, we're now going to make Unicorn. We are locked into Darks, but that's not an issue. Once again, discard, get rid of something, and draw another card. And then from now, we're going to use our Nightmare, um, targeting our Unicorn, because that's going to be the one that's going to stay. And that's going to send our World Wand. World Wand's going to banish to summon out the Nightmare. And then with these two, we're going to make our Galatea. Use the Galatea to put back the World Wand. 
to grab the babble there. It's normally one that I choose so that you have the Nightmare Engraved to get the symbol next turn to uh, continue to get disruptions. And then from there, we're going to make Dingesu to get rid of the last remaining card. And then you get a uh, 3,000, 2,600 through, and you've cleared off four cards of theirs. And you still get to end with the same card in hand that you had at the start. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, hopefully you've learned a few things here that you can use uh, any upcoming events you have after this release. And um, just want to say thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.